Hey, this is Brett with Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Wrangler headquarters. Today we are doing a walk around review on this 2020 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon package in Sting Gray clear coat. This is probably one of the best looking Wranglers we've had on the lot. And I just wanted to do a walk around because it is one of our first 2020s. It's also uh, our first Rubicon in Sting Gray and I know a lot of people like checking those out. I like doing the videos on the Wranglers because there are so many different packages with the Wranglers such as the Rubicon, the Sport, the Sahara and I guess they're going to be coming out with a whole um, bunch of offshoots like they always did in the past. But It's always nice to see exactly what package offers what and uh, to go over it like this. So we're going to get up close here. This one comes with these special painted and polished aluminum rims and these are a $995 option right now on the Wranglers. This one has BF Goodrich all-terrain tires. These are LT285 70R17s. They have the all-terrain tread on them. You get the color matching fenders as well as the color matching hardtop on this. Color matching hardtop is a $2,195 option on this vehicle and I think the fenders are a $495 option. We'll take a look at the window sticker in just a second here. LED lighting group, so you get the LED running lights in here, the LED halo lights in there, and the LED headlamps. You also have the LED fog lamps, the red tow hooks, of course the seven slotted grille. It has the sport coal induction hood. This one has the 3.6 liter V6 Pentastar motor. And we'll check out the fuel ratings on that. I always like to point out the uh, little sandals right there, the little Wrangler climbing up the windshield. The T50 on the door so you know which Torx wrench to use. The Rubicon comes with the rock rails. That's this metal bar right here. So if you're going off-roading and hit a rock, you're not going to wreck the body on your vehicle. And here's the original buyer's guide. So this is a 56,080 MSRP that has the cold weather group, trailer tow group, LED lighting group, which is a $1,045 option. It has the 8.4 and premium audio group, which is a $1,695 option, 8-speed automatic transmission, the three-piece hardtop, $2,195, and the body color fender flares are $4.95, and those rims are a $9.95 option. The 3.6 gives you 22 on the highway. 18 city for an average of 20 and it does have a four star front crash test rating. Feel free to pause that video um, to look at all those options in depth. I just don't have enough time on these videos. I'm limited to 10 minutes so we try and limit to the videos to 10 minutes but if I go through every single option on there we're going to go over 10 minutes and you're not going to get the full video. Anyways, it has the color match hardtop. All three of those hardtop pieces are color matched. You have the LED lights on the tail lights. Comes with the receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. The backup camera, matching spare tire and rim. You get LED lights for the license plate as well. And these doors on the back here open up nice and smooth. You have a JL badge right here that gives you all the specs on the JL two door and four door models. Alpine Premium Audio Group gives you the factory subwoofer back here. You have the bag for your front hardtop pieces. You have storage underneath here, which is nice that you get the subwoofer and you get that storage. Remember, in uh, 15, they switched to putting the subwoofer in the back here and you lost all that storage space. You get windshield bolt holders as well as roof and door hinge bolt holders and your jack tools are underneath there. Also has your quick disconnects for your hard top here. You also have three bolts on each side and one on the top. So actually four on each side to take that hard top off. And then when you disconnect these quick disconnects over here, there's a spot to put them in so they're not flopping around and hanging everywhere. There is a 12 volt power point back here as well. And these doors, they shut so much smoother and so much easier. There always used to be that hinge in there that you try and open it and it close itself. Anyways, they've made that a lot better too. And that has the metal fuel doors. If you haven't rode in one of these new Wranglers, you really need to. They're a lot smoother, a lot more refined than the JK. 
and I know the JK was a lot more refined than the previous model to that one, so um, just imagine how nice this one is. The heated mirrors. Inside this Rubicon package gives you the leather seats. Now the cool thing about a Rubicon is you can get it pretty base or you can get it kind of loaded up like this one with the leather, the heated seats, the navigation, all that good stuff, or you can just get one with cloth and nothing else. Um, has the driver's seat height adjuster and that goes down as well and these also have side curtain airbags standard now which was that was always a feature on the JK's has the auto headlamps power windows power locks inside you get the 7 inch TFT display or I'm sorry not TFT uh, LCD display digital speedometer outside temperature and compass display has the tilt and telescopic steering wheel so that steering wheel comes in and out has the heated leather wrap steering wheel with the red stitching, cruise controls on the right, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left, audio controls on the back of there, and it's uh, basically the same steering wheel that Chrysler Dodge Ram Jeep has had for a long time, which is nice. You can jump in from one across the lineup of vehicles. You can jump in from one to the other and not really have a learning curve there. This one has the 8.4 4C radio, which gives you the factory navigation system, as well as AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. What makes it really the 4C over the 3C is that you have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay capabilities, so you can project your cell phone to here if you like using Waze or if you like using Google Maps. Uh, you can use that and project it to the screen, and you don't have to use the factory navigation. has the backup camera as well, and that is an HD backup camera super crisp super clear those are dynamic grid lines meaning that when I turn the steering wheel they're gonna turn with that steering wheel and that they're not fixed also this one has um, you'll notice that it had the bikini uh, Rubicon right there that's a clone to this one just in bikini so if you like the bikini check out that video uh, you can click it in the upper right hand corner of the screen here anyways down here we have the dual climate controls. You have your heated seats and heated steering wheel buttons. You can also do your climate controls up there, but if you've got gloves on and like the more tactile version, or however you want to do it, um, you can do them both down here and up there, which is what's really nice about uh, this radio. You can do your heated seats and all that good stuff up there too. Power windows, um, and this, what, this is what really makes the Rubicon a Rubicon, is you get the rear and front locking differentials, as well as the sway bar disconnect. You also have four auxiliary upfitter switches. You get a USB, USB-C, and an AUX jack. The eight-speed automatic transmission with the little Rubicon or the little Wrangler symbol on there, the 4x4 shifter on the floor. This one comes with the matte red metal dash there. You get the leather trim on the top. And you have the quick disconnects for the front hard top pieces. No more screws. Uh, to undo there. I think they figured out that people weren't actually using those. Um, then quick disconnects at the front. Other than those screws, it's a pretty much exactly the same as the JK system to get those hard top pieces off. And it does have an SOS assist system on here as well as an auto dimming mirror. We're going to take a quick look at the back seats. I see we're getting close on time, so I'm going to quickly fly through the back seats here. A lot more room in the back seats than there were in the JKs. Has a latch child safety system for all your child car seats. These seats do fold down and those headrests do go down nice and flat as well, which is nice if you gotta haul a bunch of extra stuff. The other nice thing is that if no one's sitting back here, those headrests can stay down and you have a nice clear view of what's behind you. And it does have a 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in and then two USBs, two USB-C jacks back here as well. Driver's side, or it has the uh, child safety locks on the back here. And I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully you enjoyed the video and got something out of it, learned a little bit about the Wrangler package and this particular vehicle. Um, that's always my goal here and to show off our great inventory that we have here at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, half tons, three quarter tons, you name it, we got to go to our website, www.summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos like this one, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. In fact, in a second, you'll see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel on your left, a link to more regular videos like this one and the bikini one we're going to be doing in just a second here. And if you haven't been to our website, on the bottom link to this vehicle on our website, click those, check us out, and we really look forward to helping with this super clean 2020